everybody my name's rosie and welcome 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 to my channel how are you all i hope you're all doing really really well so today we've got an exciting one we are doing another cherries haul but with a bit of a twist i thought instead of doing the normal cherries haul where i basically buy food and snacks and stuff that uh, i would do a 24 hours of testing out beauty sort of stuff self-care sort of stuff from cherries so you can see what you can get for a real pamper sesh and to make yourself feel good at a cheaper price than some other places so cherries have kindly gifted me this haul uh, but obviously everything will be my own opinion and you will see how it all works and what it all does but i thought before we get into like the uh trying the bits and bobs out I would do a mini little haul and quickly show you what we've got. Before we get started, if you are new here, I do have two little pugs. They are snoring and grunting right under the camera. You will hear them in all of my videos, so just so you know what that sound is. If you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button. I mean the absolute world. Give us a thumbs up and all your comments down below as always. I'm also going to put my um, Instagram up here as well. Um, if you're not following me on there already, then you definitely should, because not only do I post lots of pictures of the pigs, but... I'm also trying to be like a bit more interactive and get you guys to ask me questions on there for future videos coming up. So definitely go and follow me over there. And then if you've got any questions, assumptions, all that sort of stuff, we can engage a little bit more. All that good stuff. So yeah, go and check it out. But let's know, Peggy. So if you don't know what Cherries is, I've worked with them a couple of times and they're basically just like an online store that gets your like budget bits really cheap. So a bit like, you think of your pound lands, your pound shops and your B&M. It's a bit like that, but online. And they have some really great stuff on there and the app is fantastic. It's a little bit like an Instagram grid. Um, yeah, it's really easy to use and they always have such good bargains on there. So I really enjoy shopping on there. But I just thought for a little bit of a twist, they have some really nice sort of self-care bits and bobs on there and i thought it'd be really cool to haul those but then show you them in action so first off i just got a little makeup sponge essential in every makeup routine i always use a little makeup sponge it feels nice and spongy so we'll see how that performs so next off i got this little body scrub how cute is this now i love an all over exfoliant and i really enjoy coffee scrubs they're messy but i really enjoy them so this is the coffee body scrub and it just says it's vegan and helps refresh and gently exfoliate the skin and it's got this cute little packaging on it next up i went for an anti-aging day and night cream uh this is what it looks like so it says improves fine lines and wrinkles smooth skin tones and rejuvenates it says for 45 plus but who cares we need all this goodness as soon as we can next up i got some little brow and face razors i do like shades of peach fuzz off my face i then got a little tanning mitt essential again if you're doing your fake tan and this one looks like a nice one next up we got hit the spot acne patches i've got really bad acne at the minute so we'll put these on before bed see how we get on i then got some vitamin c facial serum i love vitamin c and we all need a serum in our lives and again super affordable so i thought we'd test it out next up we have an argan oil rescue mask so this is a so this is a hair mask. We then have some face facts eye gel patches with collagen and cucumber. You get four sets of patches in there, so really nice. Really good, so you get four lots of those, which is good. I then went for some Dove uh, Nourishing Body Care. This is the moisturizer that's got like the tan in it. Now I love the Garnier one of these, I think it's Garnier, but I've not tried this one and I, in general, love Dove products, so I thought definitely worth giving that a try. Next up, we have a mascara by W7. This is what it looks like. And looks like a really nice wand as well. We then have a face wash. This is by Bio Glow. So give a new face wash a go. Next up, we have another hair mask. This is You Are Flamazing Hair Sheet Mask. I then got some of these makeup remover pads. Look how massive they are. I love anything like this. Love these sort of reusable things to take my makeup off with. And this one's so cute and it's massive. So that is so cute, that's by W7. Next up I got a vitamin C sheet mask and you get two in there, so again, really good. Then we have some lashes. These are by W7 as well, Wispies. They look lovely, don't they? I've not used these lashes before. So fingers crossed those ones work out nicely. 
I then got a W7 Sheer Loose Powder. Now this is a natural beige, so it's gonna be a bit dark for all of my face, but we could definitely use it on like the cheeks and the forehead, hopefully, so we'll see about that. I then went for a W7 Setting Spray. This is a Ready Set Glow, give it a good shake up. And it's one of those ones that's got like the glittery mist in it. Look how pretty that looks. So I've used these before by Iconic London, use it all the time, absolutely love it. But I thought it'd be good to try out a bit more of an affordable one. Then, I'm so excited for these. These we have a set of three tinted lip balms by Technic. How cute are those? Be such a nice little present for someone. And I love a lip balm. If you know me, you know I love a lip balm. Then I got a hair oil, so this softens and shines hair. Then we got a perfume, can you believe it? This is the lovely perfume by Sarah Jessica Parker. I've heard really good things about this. I used to work with a lady that used to love this perfume and wear it all the time. So definitely excited to give that a try out on my own skin. So guys, that is absolutely everything I got. So over the next 24 hours or so, we're gonna try all of that out together. Tonight, I'll remove my makeup and do this skincare process. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. So next up, you'll see me looking quite a bit rougher than I do right now, because I'll be taking my makeup off. Lighting is bad in here. Okie dokie. Oh, to chokey. Let's get this makeup off. I'm desperate to wash my makeup off. So the face wash is a bio glow brightening enhancing pomegranate and vitamin complex facial wash 100 ml this is what it looks like peggy's licking my legs and then we got a little uh, how cute is this so cute a little face cloth okie okay, Ooh, guys look it's like iridescent pink Oh, it smells nice. Okay. So we've got a nice lava going up, going on even. Let's see what this bad boy does. I use this with my first cleanse. Okay, it's lifting, it's lifting that makeup off. Oh, stinging the eyes a bit. you guys to say because the lighting in here is bad <clears throat> I didn't do a bad job of removing the makeup from my face but just not a great job for the eyes so mm, I think if you're on a budget and you're looking for a cheap cleanser then why not but I think you could probably get ones that don't sting the eyes as much for a similar price I'm just gonna do my second cleanse now with a different cleanser. Okay, well in all honesty, it does say avoid contact with eyes on the bottle, but I'm pretty sure they all say that and you wanna be able to get your eye makeup off. So for me, it wasn't a bad cleanser, it did clean my skin, um, but it did just sting my eyes. So it probably one that I would like keep as a spare or even like wash my makeup brushes and sponges with and stuff. But the little round sponge thing, I love and I want more of those. That's really, really nice. That worked lovely. Okay, because my skin is not great, I was gonna like shave it, but I just, it's gonna irritate my acne too much. So I'm gonna leave that for now. We'll see how we get on tomorrow, but I don't know. And tonight I was gonna do like a face mask and stuff, but again, I just don't want to irritate this anymore because it is so it hurts okay it's painful if any of you have ever had acne 
or bad spots that you know what it's like so I don't want to irritate anymore honestly I'm even a little bit nervous about using this moisturizer but we're gonna do it but I'm just not gonna put anything else on my face from this box of goodies for tonight um, just because my skin hurts apart from we use a bit of this moisturizer and I'm going to use my acne patches but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the moisturizer as normal but I'm going to use some of this little liquid clarity um, PSA acne treatment stuff that I got in my recent uh, boots box uh, like the boot showstopper box so hopefully that might help my spots a little bit um, so yeah let, let's have a little nose eh? so this is what the package of the moisturizer looks like I've never seen it before and it's just a little basic plastic tub you get 50 ml in here and it's just anti-aging day and night cream and it's a really thick cream and honestly it doesn't smell of really very much so I'm hoping that's a positive it's quite jelly like I just need warming up a bit I think so Let's see how it goes on. I had like one week where my skin was looking really good and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And now we're back to this. <laughs> I should probably go and see someone about my skin, but I just, Every day I'm like, oh, it just is what it is, it ain't what it ain't. So it just doesn't smell of very much and it's sinking in nicely and I feel good that it doesn't smell of very much. It feels really nice. I mean, it does need a bit of rubbing in, but it's sinked in quite nicely, I think. So... Yeah, I like that. I like that. I think if you're looking for a nice affordable day or night cream, um, and this one says it's like 40, age 45 plus, but I think, why does that really matter? You can start anti-aging stuff. They say you should start it at around 25, because that's when your skin starts to change and age. So it feels nice on my skin. It's not oily or greasy at all, which is good, because I have enough of that myself. So yeah, I'm happy with that little cream. And then we're going to use these little hit the spot acne patches. These say to help prevent scarring, covers, covers blemishes. You get 36 little stickies in here. Now I've used a couple of these um, acne patches before. None from this brand. I got some from Amazon. They were so great, like £5. And then I've used some other ones before. I can't remember the name of the brands now. And those ones I couldn't even get like off of the little sheet that it's on so fingers crossed for these ones so they're just this little sheet and it's got these little different sized little stickies on and uh we're gonna have to think strategically here because i've got a lot of acne i just need a sheet i just need like a, a just a sheet of this stuff to like stick over here so let's see what we can do okay first of all they peel off really well so that's good like i say the other ones i've really struggled with I've got what, a new one here, so I'm going to pop it over that one. Hope that it will stick on over the top of that serum. Now some of these ones that you get are completely transparent, so you can put them on and then put your makeup on over the top. I've never done that, and honestly I don't know how comfortable I'd ever feel doing that. I prefer just to put them on when I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I've legit just used half the packet. Look how many I've just used. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. Wow, one of my favourite numbers. So I've literally just covered this part of my face. Because they're so bad all around here. And then I've got a few over here. And a few on my forehead. So I'm just going to sleep in those. And we'll check back in in the morning and see how they've done. But so far... They were so easy to peel off, but they've clung. Like, I can feel that they've stuck proper to my face. Like, they don't feel like they're coming off, even though I've put those that moisturiser and stuff on. 
So fingers crossed I wake up acne free tomorrow. It's not too much to ask for, is it? So yeah, no night, -night and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, you beautiful people. It is the next day and I thought I'd show you, even though it's gross because I've literally just woken up, that these patches have stayed, they've stayed on all night. So I'm so, so impressed with that. How is my battery flickering at me already? Ugh. Just change my battery. So it's a bit gross, but basically how they work is they just draw out all the crap out of your face. And um, oh, it's a bit gross to be sharing on the internet really, but it's definitely worked. Um, So I'm gonna go and wash my face and then we'll get started on my makeup. Okay, so I've washed my face and I just put that moisturizer on again, which is, it's nice. And then I remembered I've got these and I'm like, should you put a serum over moisturizer? No. Would it be the end of the world if I did? Well, moisturizer stops things, other things on top from seeping in as much, I think. Fuck it, let's just try it. Okay, so we got these little droppies. Please excuse my nails, guys. They're gross and stained with fake tan. Cool, so it's in a little pipette bottle. Doesn't smell at all at the minute. So it's a vitamin C serum. Sorry if I just rush past that. It's a vitamin C. It's what it looks, the box looks like. So I'm just going to take a couple of drops. Oh, it's quite a thick clear liquid. I'm just going to dab it over the top of my moisturiser and hope that the moisturiser lets it seep in. It's gone in pretty nice considering. It doesn't smell of anything. Which is fine, I'd rather that than them add perfumes. Okay, yeah, that's really nice. So that's just seeped right in. Does it smell overly strong? Because I do think sometimes they add like an orange scent to these things. To these things, and I'd rather not have that. So, yeah, so far, I mean, obviously, you need to test these things out for a good bit of time to see what they're doing. Okay, so I've just dampened that sponge, and it honestly, it feels so nice. I wish the shape was a little bit more pointy at the end so you could like really get in under the eyes. But so far, let's try it out. But it grew massively, like doubled in size and feels lovely. Okay, guys, that is a really nice sponge. It's a, probably just the winciest, winciest, little bit denser than my Nanchi sponges that I like. But still really nice and soft. Um, it's distributing the concealer nicely. Yeah, that's a win. I'd recommend that. It's a really nice little sponge. <sighs> okay, this setting powder that we have, I'm nervous about it. I'm gonna, just because they didn't have any translucent, I don't think, because I would have bought translucent otherwise. So in the little pot, you've got this little brush on the inside, which is a waste of my time. So if we look, it's like quite a, a bit of a darker color. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm going to set my under eyes first with my Laura Mercier brightening powder and then we'll try it on the rest of the face. Okay, it doesn't seem that finely milled this powder, I honestly don't have high hopes, it's like in little balls. I'm actually so nervous about this. Yeah, it's coming out in clumps rather than, you see. I'm going to tap a lot of it off, I'm not going to lie. I think the colour's not going to be too bad on me at the minute because I am, I have got fake tan on at the minute. So I'm not as pale as I usually am. Okay, it's actually not that bad. Okay, it's not bad. It isn't bad. Um, and I think because of the colour that I am at the minute, it's not gone like too dark for me it has like sort of lifted up around here and a little bit on my spots as well um but apart from that it seems to have set everything nicely so yeah it's not bad it's not my favorite 
only other thing we've got left is lashes and the setting spray so i'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'll see you in a minute guys i am so shit at this so we had the mascara and i've just done my mascara i forgot but we're gonna go over the top i've only done one layer Let's see what this is like so this is a w71 and i'm sorry we're not giving it a fair ah oh, ah oh, ah oh, ah oh. okay not that bad not really giving it a fair try are we it's quite dry Is it doing anything? I don't know if it's doing much, but we'll put it on the bottom lashes and we'll see from there. I'm so sorry, guys. But anyway, we have the lashes. So these are W7 little wispy lashes. They look really nice, don't they? It does come with a little glue, but uh, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm going to use my fave, which is the um, green duo glue. I love this stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. So the band is see-through, um, but it's still actually quite thick. So if that was a black band, I'd be like, ugh. But obviously you can't see them as much, but it's actually still quite thick. But we'll see how that does. I'm just going to cut off these little plasticky bits at the end. Always try and look down when doing your lashes is the best tip I can give you. Make sure the glue's gone a bit tacky. They're not my most favourite lashes ever, just because the band that they're on is, even though it's see-through, even though it's clear, it's still super thick, so they're sort of a little bit more difficult to manoeuvre. And that mascara is transferred on my, down here, even though I haven't even got it on my lower lashes yet. And I know it's that mascara, not the other one, because the other one I use all the time, and I've done it a little bit before, so I'd let it properly dry. So, I have such oily skin that if it's going to transfer, it's a no from me. But they're not the worst lashes I've ever put on and I like like sort of what they look like. We then have this little trio of uh, little lip balms which I'm excited for. I love a lip balm. I absolutely love lip balms. And these ones look so cute. And they're tinted ones. They look so nice. This would make such a nice little Christmas gift as well guys. So that's the first one. They don't have any names I don't think. So that's just a nice nudie tint love that the next one looks like it's a bit more of a ready tint yeah oh they feel lovely super cute so that's that one there last one's got little pineapples on it and it's like a little shimmery rosy pink so nice it's got like a little pearl shimmer in it love those i'm gonna go with just the first one like the nudie one. Oh, they feel so nice that feels really nice really moisturizing gives you that little tint on your lips i love things like this I really love that really love that and then lastly we've got our fixing spray okay mmm smells nice mist is not bad but it is leaking onto my finger or maybe not it smells really nice okay the mist is not bad and you know me, the glowier, more Tin Man look, the better. So I'm not sure if the camera's going to really pick it up, but I really like that spray. I, that would be great on a night out. I'd definitely use that. I can see the little shimmery flecks on my skin, but it's not like big chunks of glitter. It's very, very similar to the Iconic London. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, so let's do a quick recap of everything we've used this morning. So, so far... Oh so far so good on the drops i'm definitely going to continue to use those and see what i think so keep an eye out in an empties video for those next up we have the little sponge i really like it guys it's so nice and squishy it distributed my makeup really really well 
um, yeah I'd recommend this sponge and next time I shop on there I'd definitely pick up a couple just to have as backups because um, you can never have too many sponges just in case moving on to the powder it isn't probably going to be one that I pick up that often but really just because I prefer a translucent powder but it did set my makeup really nicely I was worried that it wasn't going to be finely enough milled but actually it's it was absolutely fine it set my skin um, so we'll see how that lasts throughout the day anyway I know I didn't give the mascara 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 a fair chance um, so we'll try it out again another time or in another video or whatever but I've got a feeling that it is going to transfer but I've got it on my lower lashes so we'll see how that does but you know the mascara you just know what you like and you know what you don't already don't you so this I can tell already it's not going to be my favourite um, but we will give it another try and try and make it fair the lashes they're absolutely fine they're not my favourite but they've gone on nicely enough. I, I should have cut them down a little bit, but I was being lazy and didn't want to. And I've not stuck this one on the best, so I can feel it a little bit. But uh, they're really not bad at all. Nice, wispy lashes. So, yeah, I can't complain about those. And if you like this star lash, I would recommend them. They're not the softest band, but some people don't like really soft bands. That's just my preference. But, yeah, they're not bad. Then we've got the trio of lip balms. These are my favourite. I absolutely love these. They feel great. And I think they just give my, like, na that one especially works quite well with my natural lip colour. So, yeah, I really love those. They're my favourite product. And then that spray, I love that as well. I think that's given my face a really nice dewy sheen. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with most of the products. So, we'll check back in later for bath time. I am shit at doing these videos. <laughs> I forgot about the perfume. So excited to smell this as well. I've been waiting for this. So, this is the... Sarah Jessica Parker perfume in Lovely and you get 30 ml in there and this is what the little bottle looks like how pretty is she so I think this was like £10 guys so let's give it a little oh yeah it smells so nice it's really nice it's quite I don't know it just reminds me of the lady that i used to work with it's such a cute little smell this would make such a nice little present guys hi guys welcome to my bathroom <laughs> so it is about eight o'clock now i've had my makeup on all day i just took my lashes off they were actually fine all day um but by the end i was feeling them scratching so for a night out would notice it'd be absolutely fine and i wore them all day and i didn't really notice it either but it was just as you know you get a bit tired coming to the end of the day i just wanted to take them off the powder I haven't touched up my makeup at all. The powder's actually lasted really well. And, you know, that setting spray's given me a nice glow. So, all round, pretty impressed with those couple of makeup y bits I've got. I've got a top on. Because, uh, you know, just for modesty purposes. But now we're going to do the little body scrub and the eye masks. And the face mask and i thought i'd just do all of those whilst i'm in the bath with you guys yeah i had a quite a nice day today i took the oh yeah i've got wine as well you can't forget about that i took the girls for a really nice walk i filmed it as well um so i'm just going to take my makeup off um i wouldn't usually in the bath but I didn't want to jump straight back on screen with all my acne out and scare you all. I'm not using that face wash again. <laughs> I'm not risking these stingy eyes. Um, I know I've got hair masks. I'm just not emotionally or mentally prepared to wash my hair. I'm not, I'm not prepared to do it. I just don't want to wash my hair. But... I, they are masks that I've used before and they are nice. Are they my favourite? Absolutely not. But they are nice masks. 
um so i can tell you that they're nice and that they work well but i just guys you know what it's like i just don't want to don't want to do a wash my hair hair wash day is probably going to be tomorrow because i'm back to work on monday so yeah don't make me do it but anyway let's crack on with these masks so i'm actually going to do them both together i'm going to do the eye masks under the face mask because and I am anxious about putting this mask on my skin, but we've got to do what we've got to do. And I've already let you down with a hair wash. So this is the little eye masks, what they look like out of their packaging. And you've got like a few sets in that box. Emma, baby, there. Oh, it feels so nice and cool. I do like these, but they are annoying to stay on, aren't they? And then, how long does it sit to put this on? 20 minutes? Oh, I haven't got time to sit with a mask on my face for 20 minutes. Other people will want the bath. Oh my god, I effed that up. Cool. So I'm going to kick back and watch a bit of a video then as that has to be on for 20 minutes and uh, we'll, I'll come back to you in a minute to do the body scrub. <laughs> Look at these eye patches. Okay, 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 it's been around 20 minutes. Look, and my eye drops, they're now cheek. My eye masks are now cheek masks. Doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, let's take it off mm. so yeah it's they're really nice little masks what i'd say is it's very similar to most sheet masks but it doesn't smell like too perfumey it doesn't smell like it's got any fragrance in it feels soft on my skin my skin doesn't feel irritated at all um yeah it feels nice and i love to have a pamper always like put the rest of this serum all over me you just don't want to waste any of that stuff amazing so i'm happy with that little mask let's move on to our um scrub I mean, you don't have to stare at me in the bath anymore this is a coffee body scrub and i just i think this packaging is really cute i don't know how good it's actually going to be so it's like a little drinks tub oh my god that is so much better guys because i've got this one on the go which i absolutely love but it's so messy like put having to put your hand in the packet or even pour, pouring it out it gets everywhere so i'm actually so impressed with that nozzle so let's see what the scrub itself is like it literally just smells like coffee as you'd expect any coffee scrub now i like to sort of get them all over my hands before going onto the body okay that feels really nice smells so nice it is a real strong coffee scent if you don't like the smell of, co smell of coffee then you're going to want to look at a tea scrub rather than a coffee scrub obviously mm -hmm. um but it's like god using this in the morning as well especially it just feels like it's going to stimulate all my skin mix that in with that mask it's not too harsh like it's really exfoliating you can feel it but it's almost like it's got some sort of oil in it as well to uh look how good that is Oh, I love that packaging. More brands need to take that on board. Okay, although my legs are a little bit prickly because I haven't shaved them, I've just done one leg and not the other one. And it, you can really feel a difference of how smooth it is. Just so impressed with this little pourer. Okay, guys, for such a little packet, I've just done pretty much the whole of my body and it's I've still got this much left. But I've only used that much. I'm so impressed with this. Okay guys, and then the last thing to try out, we have the Dove Nourishing Body Care Visible Glow Self Tan Lotion. Um, so it's like a self, like gradual tanny moisturizer thing. Now, as I said before, I love the Garnier one of this. And to be honest, with the Garnier one, I normally just put it on with my bare hands and then really make sure I wash my hands afterwards. But we're gonna give the little mitt a go. So, <clears throat> how the packaging tells you to use this mitt is it says exfoliate with this side. Well, I've just exfoliated, so I don't need to. Then it says use a protective glove and put the tan over this side and then buff with this side afterwards when the tan's dry. We're not doing that. Put all tan on the velvet side. That's what you want. Um, so, this is what it comes out like. Okay, so I'd say the mitt's fine. 
um, it's it will do the job. I'm probably not going to do my whole body with the mitt just because it soaks up so much of that product. But if I was not use a normal fake tan, I'd have no problem with using it. But I would only use this side. So yeah, it's a nice little velvet mitt. I do think there's better ones. Oh, boost falling out. There are definitely better ones on the market. Um, but that's just sunk in really nicely. Okay, so for that cream, first impressions, it smells really good like all Dove stuff does. It went up really easily and soaked into my skin really quickly. It's also dried really quickly as well, like I don't feel very sticky and I've literally just finished putting it on. And my arms, where I started first, are completely dry and feel smooth already. So fingers crossed, I'll wake up with a nice tan. So I'll check in in the morning and let you know how the tan's gone. And then that'll be the end of the video. Hi guys, so it's the next day and the whole day has passed. But I just wanted to update you on the Dove cream. It's so nice. It's really, really nice. It didn't go as bronze as the Garnier one, but it also like didn't stain my wrists or anything or any part of my hands. It's given me a nice little glow. This line isn't the best, but it really has given me a nice little glow, really natural looking. If you're looking for that natural glow, um, then yeah, it's absolutely perfect. I would really, really recommend it. Um, again, probably not in the best light, but just wanted to update you and sign off this video. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts on it all are. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Pop that notification bell on. Also, go follow me on Instagram as well because I always put lots of bits and bobs over there. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.